she so mighty? It had 51 streets, and in the 51st, there lived the king. And we all no. know about the king. And in the first street lived the poor people. And in number one, first street, <coughs> there was a girl. Now she was even more clever than she was lovely. She was even more cunning with her hands than she was clever. One time, she was making, but she had married. One time, she fell in love and married with her next door neighbour, her young lad, who in her own words was, Oh, he's so kind. He's the nicest person you could ever meet. He's just absolutely lovely. He's so compassionate. He never hurt a fly. He's quite good with his hands and he's lovely, lovely, lovely to look at. <coughs> not the sharpest knife in the drawer. But we've known each other since we were children. Maybe not that bad. You know, don't you, that our city has 51 streets? Yeah, that's right. Well, whatever you do, try and sell it in any of the others, but not the 51st street. Why? Because the king lives there, and we all, oh, we all know about, about the king. Anyway, all right. It's a very fine carpet. It is. I got a carpet for sale, but you're too poor. So are you. Where am I going to sell this carpet? <laughs> I'm not selling it for a song. It's all what it's worth. And the lad went from street to street to street until he came to the 51st street and he thought to himself, now there is something about this street, it's where the king lives. And people don't like him much, they all say they know about him, but I don't know what they do know. And he's got all the money because he takes it all. And he went knock on his door. So he knocked at the door of the palace and the chamber knocked. Oh, hello young man, what is it that you want? I, I got a rug. Goodness. My wife makes them and she's even more beautiful than this rug. What a magnificent piece of work. And, uh, well, if she's even better looking than the rug, the king will certainly want to know. Come with me. And before the young man had a chance to say, hang on a minute, he was led in front of the king. Hello, your magnificence. Oh, hello, young man. I've got a rug here. My, that is magnificent. My wife made that. Really? She's more beautiful than this rug. Really? You fascinate me strangely. Uh, Chamberlain. Have a gold piece for the Give him an entire bag of gold. Two, in fact. But on one condition, I am visiting you and your wife tomorrow. So you must, uh, you must uh, tell my Chamberlain your address. More than that, the Chamberlain followed the young lad home. And when the young lad came in with two bags of gold full of his story, his wife... Oh, no! I'm sorry I wasn't pleased. Oh, no! You idiot! The Is that what we know about the king? Well, yes, what I 
you an idiot or something? No! Well, he, he just gets through women like I don't know what. And I presume if you're looking for your wife and you've followed the trail of cakes here, that's what's happened. But how am I going to get a wife with her? Well, I sell jewellery to the king. Look, I've got my nice little tray here full of trinkets and lovely jewels. Can you take a message to Gold and stuff. Well, you've got a better idea than that. I get privileged access to the king's mistresses and, and I get to see them alone so they can choose bits and bobs. Why don't? Well, I can I can uh, swap clothes with you if you like and you can go in and pretend to be my cousin. What, me dress up as a girl? Yeah, yeah, well it's me, yeah, just temporarily. What? What, young man? How dare you get off? All right, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Do I get the fan as well? No! So the young lad went in front of the king and said, Hello, I'm the cousin of the jewellery seller. Yeah. I've got this stuff to sell. Oh, yes, for my latest young lady. Yes, she's proving rather a tough nut to crack. Well, hopefully she'll be wowed by some of your lovely merchandise. Um, Chamberlain, take, uh, take, the, uh, take the seller to the, uh, the west wing where she's uh, in her chamber awaiting my And so the young lad, the jewellery seller, was taken to the west wing. And there, tiny there, was his wife, Freddy. Hello, hello, oh, it's thank, me. Thank I'm in disguise. Oh, thank you. What is I met an old woman who helped me, but it was my idea. Oh really? Oh well, thank goodness you're here. Oh for goodness sake! Now you're here. I've got an idea. Yes, we can't stay <coughs> in this kingdom in this city any longer. Go home when you get out of here. Sell everything we have. Buy two horses and bring them here, tonight at midnight, load them up with as much food as you can carry, as much food as you can buy, bring them here, just see, look, just see out to the window, just see which street that is. Yeah, that's a bit we'll bring street, it. and that's an alleyway off it. Yes, exactly, we'll bring the horses there at midnight after everyone else has gone to sleep, and I'll make... But midnight, it's very late. It is, that's when nobody will be about, that's the point, and I'll try and make a rope out of these sheets. All right. Midnight. I'll be quicker than that, though. And so the lad went off. Just wait then! Be up with you! And he bought two horses and a lot of provisions. Oh, and he'd done that all by nine o'clock. Because I'm fishing. And he came to the street. And he was very tired. Midnight was very past his bedtime. And so he fell asleep. I went, who should come by? Coming home from some debauch. Bomb. But the infamous bald-headed man Bom. of legend. Bom. And the bald-headed man looked at the sleeping lad and the prince and the rope that was thrown out the window and he thought, my, my, this is a story. Oh. Ah, my dear, I shall help you. Oh. And the oh. girl only saw a taped figure behind her who could have been her husband. Thank you. Now let us ride off. But before she knew quite what was happening, she was galloping off to the forest. And when she was deep in the forest, when she was lost in the forest, the bald-headed man stopped the horses, pulled back his hood, and revealed himself. It is I, oh. the infamous bald-headed man <laughs> of legend. And you're my lady. I suppose you didn't see a young man with the horses. Oh yes. Oh. Asleep, was he? Yes. So you're mine. <coughs> you don't belong to Sleeping Beauty anymore. Oh, well, yes, I, I, I will. I will come and live with you and be your mistress. But if I'm brutally honest, you're follically challenged. Is it because I'm ginger? No, it's your total lack of hair. I, I just thought I was still on the top. Am I bald? I'm afraid you are. You are, as they say, you are the infamous bald-headed man. However, as luck would have it, you are in luck. My family it is who guard the secret of hair restoration. I would give anything to have my hair back. Oh yes, I've got some. I've got some supplies in these saddlebags. I can, if, if we just light a little fire, I can cook up something that will restore your hair in no time. The girl boiled up a concoction of oil and salt. And once this is boiled, you just pick it up and stick it straight on your head. Ah! The bald-headed man poured boiling oil straight. 
foolish as he was wicked. Thank goodness for that. I must be on my way. So she rode off to the forest. Now she, the dawn was rising, <laughs> suddenly behind her. <laughs> Just oh, four no. gentlemen of the road. Oh Hudson. no, they've stopped the horses. Ah, ah you're up, pretty. Oh no, not again. I think, my dear, you belong with me. <laughs> Said the eldest. For I am the eldest. And the next one said, but, but, but I shoot the furthest. And the youngest said, but I'm the prettiest. Oh no. And yet another said, and I saw her first. We must have a contest, Gregory. Yes, why don't you? And I'll belong to whoever shoots the furthest. But in order not to get the arrows mixed up, seeing as we're at a bit of a crossways path, why don't you all shoot in different directions? North, south, east and west. Off you go. So the huntsman shot north, south, east and west and started quarrelling about where their arrows were. While well, they're all running off to get their arrows right. Yeah, yeah, go horses, go! The girl rode off. She rode off to, oh. to the uh, sunset. And at sunset, suddenly, her horse was stopped. Oh no, not again! By a number of gallants. Oh. We've just waged everything, dearie. Oh. And fortune has sent us you. Oh, no. But don't worry, we're not going to share you. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. We're going to play poker for you. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, in that case, why don't you have some <coughs> of this lovely strong wine to go with your game? And she poured them out, the king's strongest red and red. No way they'll be able to hold this. <laughs> I tell you, I've got four, five, a jack. Another bunch as foolish as they are wicked. Right, horses? Yeah! And she ran off until uh, sunrise. I can't go around dressed as a woman anymore. And at sunrise, an old couple came to her and said, Hang on. Oh. I, I got, I got, you, you're in severe danger, my dear. Oh, tell me about it, this wretched dress. Yes, you're just a beautiful woman. You need, you can't go through the land dressed like that. You're a provocation. I know. Have you got any boys' clothes on? Oh, yeah, I still left a set of clothes when he went out to his oh, fortune. Oh, if I could borrow them and swap them for this, you would oh, sell you can. Do what you like with it. It's encrusted with the jewels the king gave it to me. I hate it. Thank you. So it was, the oh. girl with the boy's clothes. Oh, safe at last, I put my hair up in this cap. Oh. And she went into the nearest city. Now she was by now in the neighbouring kingdom. Oh, wow, it seems to be some sort of feast day or celebration day. There's flags everywhere, it's beautiful. And it was the most wonderful carnival she had ever been. What's happening? It's, it's the day the bird of fortune flies. Oh, what does the full bird of fortune do? It flies into the air, and the man who it cracks on will be king. What an odd way to choose a king. There are worse. In the neighbouring kingdom, they choose by the eldest son in Herod. Oh, yes, and they've got a king so bad, Everyone everybody knows, knows about, about him. him. Yes, that's and I've heard the worst systems. In some systems, they let the idiots choose the government. Oh, well, I suppose your right is as good a way as any. Look! The bird cracks and where the bird ship lands. That man will be king. Oh. And the bird cracked straight oh, no. on the hair of the girl. Oh no, no, it's Sire, a Sire! It's been a mistake! You're a king! No, I can't be king, I can't be king! Oh no, I've been carried! We can carried. take your crown at once! I've been carried to all the hive, oh no! This is really no, no, I'll, 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 all right, all right, I'll be king, but no, no, I don't need any help dressing, thank you. Really, I'm used to doing things myself. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll put my hair under this and... Yes, all right, yeah. And so it was, she became the king. Oh, gosh. And she bro dropped her voice in that octave. Oh, this is very bizarre, but I'll do the best I can. And she was actually really rather a good king. Now, the poor people in this quarter, we've really got to do something about them. More arms to them and uh, opportunities for them. <sighs> yes, well, um, that case, yes. I see the justice of that, yes, yes. Well, I know exactly what to do about that. And the only thing she disagreed with, with her chamber was the issue of getting married. I'm not ready to get married yet. Yeah, but I know you don't have to, because the bird of fortune does choose. Well, exactly, I, I don't need an heir or anything, do no, I? No, you don't. You do need a wife. Well, I'll know her when I see her, if that makes sense. And how long has she been king for a number of months? Gosh, this game's so tiring, my voice as well. News came from messengers. There's something very odd. Yes, what is it? Four gamblers have just arrived and they're searching for a girl. Oh. What should we do with them? Oh, that sounds pretty fishy to me. Uh, 
trap them in the dungeons. I'll deal with them later. And the next day, the same lot of messengers came back and they said, this has got really weird now. What is it? Four huntsmen have arrived looking for a girl. Oh, gosh. Well, that sounds pretty fishy to me too. Uh, pop them in the dungeons and I'll deal with them later. And the next day, they came back looking perplexed. What is it now? The king from the neighbouring kingdom has turned up. And we all know no, about him. him. And he also is looking for a girl. Oh, all this looking for a lady all the time. Oh, my goodness. Well, put him in the east wing under armed guard. I will deal with him later. The next day, no messengers came. So the, girl, so the king sent for the messengers. Oh, I don't suppose there have been any more people at the borders. Well, they weren't going to bother you. They're still a little lad. He's very beautiful, but he's a bit wanting. Well, what does he want? He's good for his wife. Really? Uh, bring him to me here. I will see him. Yes, bring him here. And so it was. The young man was summoned before the king. Hello, your excellency. Could I'm looking for my wife. Yes, I've heard of you. A courtiers, leave us the throne room just for five minutes, please. Leave us alone. Shut the doors. Thank you. You don't recognise me, do you? No, you excellent. It's me, you idiot. What? What? I know, I'm the king. Is yes. there something you should be telling me? The birds of happiness pooed on me, and that's how they choose their No, it's not making any sense. By accident, I have become the king of this. But you can't. Well, I am. The... It's just the way it is. I know, and they want me to choose a consort. You can't go marry a woman. I'm, I'm not going to. I've got no intention of doing so. Listen, I have a plan, a really good plan. You need to dress. I have a maid who I trust, just one woman who I trust here, and she can dress you as a girl, and then you, what? you go to the Golden Note Cafe, yes. the third one in the arcade. I will tell my chamberlain that I have. But you want to leave me alone in the cafe? Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to get chatted up. Well, we have to deal with that all our lives till we're 70 or something. Deal with it. I'm sure you can fend them off. Right. You only have to dress as a woman just for one day. Do I get to wear crinoline? Yes, you do. Oh, good. As long as I get a great big skirt with handles, I'm happy. That's fine. She'll dress you as a girl. You'll go there. I'll say I've had a dream that I'll see the girl of my dreams there. We'll go out. I'll see you. I'll choose you. Then we'll have the royal wedding. Then I'll think of something. I'll explain. It'll be fine. <laughs> all right. All right. We'll try. Come. And so it was. They dressed up the lad as a beautiful, beautiful woman. What? Wait, 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 this is mm. cool. And he went off to the cafe. Right, right, Fortius, I, I had a dream. I had a dream that I will meet the woman of my dreams. Today, in my own city, I will choose my own people. Let us go for it. And she went to three cafes. And at the end of the third one, <coughs> there was a beautiful woman talking to a sailor. Yes, Hello. that's her. That's the one I've had in my dreams. <coughs> I, I was just talking to a sailor. Well, uh, do you want me to get rid of him or not? Oh, yes. Chamberlain, uh, could you uh, take that uh, sailor and uh, make some small talk with him and give him some gold or something? Just take him away. Right, will you come with me back to my palace and be my consort, madam? Well, this is all very so. Well, are you the king or something? I am indeed the king, your king. Will you marry me or not? Oh, go on then. Oh, come back to the palace. That much more. My dear. I'll be out of you. Um, so, well, that's the wedding. Much pomp and ceremony. It was really lovely. Much bigger than our last one. A little bit strange in these clothes, but fundamentally super. How I don't wear a veil. You did. You looked absolutely lovely. But now we're married. It's time to go out on the balcony. I've got to make my speech. <coughs> you ought to swap clothes because this is otherwise going to get out of hand at some point. So she swapped the clothes. And he went dressed in the gallery as king. And she went dressed as herself. <sighs> my people! Hang on! Said the people. Something's happened. They've swapped eggs. That's not normal. I, who have been crowned your king and is such a privilege and such an honour, I must now explain what has happened and how I came to be your king. It's like this. And she told them all about it. And by the end of the story, she said, And so, my people, if you would still have me as your king, raise your hands. Oh, I spoke so. Thank you. And now, what shall we do with the four gamblers? 
go. And the forehand tagger! Again, they are poor men and I think they have learned. Now, we'll not do this again. Let us set them free. But the king of the neighbouring kingdom! Hang him? Yes, I believe we must hang him. Oh, good. For while he lives, none of the women and girls in this kingdom, or the next, or any other for that matter, would be safe. And I happen to know, having been a former subject of that kingdom, that his son is a good man and will take on and be nothing like him. In that case, well, if I am still your king, well then this is my consort, my husband. Huzzah! And that was how the bird of fortune, for the very first time, chose a woman 